In this video, I'm going to give you a very simple way that you can defend any five wide formation, whether it be empty bunch, empty spread, uh, any of those sets. I'm going to give you a really, really good uh, defense that you can use to kind of slow down some of the things that a lot of people like to run out of five wide. Now, I think five wide is actually a very underrated offense in this year's game. So we're going to dive into this video here in just a second. But if you're new to the channel, I do videos like this every single day. So make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss any of these important tips and tricks videos that can help you get better at this game. The other thing that I wanted to say before we dive too deep into this video is I actually have an entire defensive guide on the nickel two, four, five odd formation out of the Chicago Bears defensive playbook so if you want to get my 245 odd defensive ebook it's on sale for just $15 there's a link in the description that you can click on it'll take you right to the website where you can get the defensive guide the play we're going to be going over in this video is the cover six now the cover six is my favorite defense right now out of the 245 odd and the reason why is because it's a match defense I absolutely love match defense especially with the how bad zone coverage is in this year's game and man coverage is really not that much better Match coverage to me is the best way to play defense in this year's game right now. So let's dive into how you can run this against a five wide receiver set. And what you're going to notice here is we actually get a really favorable advantage against a five wide because we have this blitzer right here off the left side and he is absolutely incredible. So all we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to crash our defensive line to the right. As you can see, it's going to create this two man blitz angle that is really, really good uh, from this formation. The next thing that I like to do is I personally really think that it makes a ton of sense in this year's game to only blitz, especially from this blitz, we're only going to send three, okay? And you can even only send two, but I like to only send three. So that being said, what I like to do on the back side of this is I'm going to put this guy, Jones, into a bluff blitz assignment. And what you're going to notice here is it's going to put him into a three rec hook zone. Now that three rec hook zone is going to free up our user because what this is going to do is it's going to tell Jones, hey, you're going to take drag routes, motion slants, things like that, things over the underneath middle of the field. And it's going to allow our user to be able to work to post routes or to simply work to crossing routes or things like that, that we might need to take away. Now the numbering system for this is Butler is responsible for number one, which is number 18. Then Baker right here is responsible for number th uh, number three, uh, which is number 87. And then Murphy is responsible for 85. And we'll show that in just a second against this package. Obviously, there's some finer details to this, but that's kind of a broad overview of how this is going to work against five wide. Now, on the left side, you see here we have cover six. Now, I like to go ahead and hot route both of the, and create a cover four. So I'm going to put the left side cornerback into an outside quarter zone. As you can see right there, I'm going to put the inside corner or the safety into an inside quarter zone. And then I'm going to take that linebacker that's on that left side and put him into a curl flat zone. So as you see here, we're basically going to work to this three wide receiver side over here on the right side. So let me just show you first and foremost four verticals. And I'm actually going to send, if you take a look here, I've got four people going to the vertical received. So I'm going to back off. I'm just going to use our defensive lineman. I want you to watch how this is going to work against a five wide receiver set. What you're going to see here is instant pressure. And just like I said, we're going to get match coverage across the board. So let me jump into instant replay and kind of break down this coverage for you. What, what I said is true. Number one is this corner is responsible for number one. Number seven here, he's taken 85. Okay, so if number two goes vertical, he's taken him. And then 87 as you can see, is matched by that safety. And this three red hook is trailing, if you take a look here on the back side. Now, I like to blitz my user out of this formation. And the reason why is because I, I want that three wreck to, I want the AI to make that three wreck believe that he's the only three wreck on the field, which technically he is. But when you have two three wrecks on the field, it, it does kind of mess up some of the rules. And then on the back side, as you see here, he takes number one. And then this guy goes to the out route, so this guy takes him, and then he's free now to poach on this crosser. Okay, that's pretty much how the defense is supposed to work. Now, let's, and uh, as you saw, we got instant, instantaneous pressure, absolute, absolute crazy pressure against five wide. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the ball over here to the right side or to the left side. So this is kind of an oversimplified version of this defense. We go a little bit more in depth in the ebook, but what you're going to notice here is again, we're going to, um, you don't have to spread your line, but you can, we're going to crash our line to the right. 
We're going to drop this guy into a three rag. I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, spy this guy uh, just so you can see how the coverage works. And then you're going to understand what your user responsibilities are. And then we're going to put those same adjustments inside quarter of the safety, outside quarter of this guy, and then take this guy on the backside here and put him in a curl flat. So as you see here, this is basically the defense. If you wanted to block, take this guy right here and put him into a three rec or a bluff blitz that turns him into a three rec, you could do that. The blitz will still work. And then you could even drop this guy into coverage as well. Okay, but we don't really, it's not really what we need to do. So that is the coverage aspect of the play. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show how this defends something like a wheel route, a post, and a streak. Now, you're going to see here, this is where you have to pay a little bit more attention to how this coverage is going to work. But as you see here, for the most part, this does pretty decent, matches accordingly, and as you can see, we're able to take that post right away. The one thing I want you to really clearly understand, though, is there are some five wide receiver formations. Empty trade stack is one of those formations. Okay, there are some five wide receiver formations that what, what, what will happen happen is especially if you run this defense consistently it's not as bad out of cover six it's a lot worse in my opinion out of the true cover four quarters or the true cover four palms but if if the tight end goes vertical so let's say they run a route combo like this and then maybe they this is just kind of trying to break the match let's say they do something like this if you see this tight end go vertical you need to wall him off, three receiver hook, right? Your responsibility is to the three wide receiver side, if the number three receiver, which is the tight end, if he goes vertical, you want to wall him off. So we're gonna carry him and we're gonna deliver him into one of the quarters if they take him. If not, we need to continue to run with him just in case the, the coverage breaks. Where the coverage is going to break in match coverage, where the coverage is going to break is it's going to break with that tight that 87 that third receiver out of the trips so if that and, and for purpose of this video i'm going to spy triangle okay so i'm going to user upfield if they okay now i can free to come down now i'm free to come down you see how that worked i usered up once i saw that he was delivered to the next guy then I'm free to come down and be able to poach anything underneath. So this is a great defense. I love this defense against five wide. I think it's one of the better ones that you can run. Um, most people don't know have, have a clue how to defend five wide in this year's game. It's really hard. Um, but this defense gives you a pretty good shot. Okay, just simple like this. Um, you know, on this back side here. Uh, you're going to play, like I said, you're going to play, you know, cover four. Uh, so this is a two receiver set. So let's say that, you know, I put this guy on a slant and this guy on a wheel. Watch the wheel. He gets swapped very well. Now the slant got open, but that's where your three receiver hook because you're lurking over the middle of the field. Okay, so you have to understand your responsibility. If you understand your responsibility, it's going to be really, really difficult for people to tr continue to break the match coverage. You're going to be very fine. So thanks for watching the video. I also wanted to quit, put a quick uh, takeaway in the video for you. If you like this defense and you want to learn my complete 245 odd defense, there's a link in the description. So just click that link. It'll take you right over to my website where you can get the uh, defensive guide. It's the best way to support me as a creator, and it's the best way, in my personal opinion, for you to actually get better because the guide will walk you step-by-step step through the entire defense so you can run it as a cohesive system. Thanks for your time. If you want to get the guide, link in the description. Just click it, take it over to the website, and we'll get you squared away within five or ten minutes.